next week I might not have a vlog out, or maybe I'll convince Brian to edit one. Why? Because I gotta prep for my show. I have a show with Charlene on August 25th at I.O. if anyone wants to come see it. <laughs> I thought this was a YouTube channel. Well, I have a conference for work all week, and then I gotta, any little spare time, I gotta prep for my show. Okay. I guess I'll put out a video then. Oh my god, I would love it if you did, Brian. Sure. Well, <clears throat> there you have it. I said I'd make a video, so here I am. Welcome to my video. Okay, so... What do we normally do for these? There's the ones that are about Luna. There's the vlogs that are about us going somewhere. That's probably not gonna happen. This isn't actually the first time that Meredith has asked me to do a guest vlog. In fact, it's the third. It's just that I never finished the vlogs before because I guess that's not the type of person I am. Wait, I just thought of something. My idea had nothing to do with the video, by the way. It just occurred to me, Meredith is off seeing some friends tonight, so I gotta do what all guys do when their wives are out. <laughs> Go to the Domino's Pizza Store. Okay, now we got a video on our hands. <laughs> Thanks, Domino's, for sponsoring this. So I do have some footage from about a year ago from a home improvement project that might be perfect for this. While Luna and I enjoy this delicious ham and pineapple pizza, why don't you take a look at the project we started one year ago? Welcome everyone to Brian's video blog. Fuck. <laughs> Welcome everyone to Brian's video blogs. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a guest spot on Meredith Stepien's channel. I'm so happy about it. It feels like it feels like a kind gesture. Also, I'm in my bathing suit, just as an FYI, because I was laying in the sun. <laughs> ah, ooga. Kind of a different style on these videos. We're trying to use sex to sell these videos. We gotta get some views. <laughs> but, you know, we just bought this house and we're like redoing a bunch of rooms and Meredith wanted me to make some videos about my rooms. Actually, I offered um, about some of the rooms he that I'm setting up. Oh, he cheated, it made me so yeah. happy. So what were, the two rooms that I'm gonna be focusing on are my vocal booth and my home office. Meredith, because she is like kind of amazing at setting stuff up after moving and everything like that, has already got all of her stuff completely set up. And we've been here for a month on, and this is what my <laughs> this is what my office looks like. I'll show you. So this is what I'm working with. I still these are literally the only boxes still in the house. There's my computer, tangle of cords. Um, there was some underwear in that chair, but I won't focus on it anymore. <laughs> The other option that I was considering is, right now we've got a desk here in front of this window, which is really nice, I think. The only place for the day bed to go is right here, but it creates that small lane of traffic right here. And then the bookshelf could go here. What I'm doing here is trying to tape out the dimensions for this day bed that we're hoping to get. Okay, Meredith is making me do this. This is the bed that we're going to get. It pulls out like this, it's a day bed. We did it, we just finished at Ikea. And we're packed to the gills it. with modular furniture. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so we're uh, working our way through. We've got the carpet put down in here now. We've got part of this cabinet thing built over there. And we're ready to put this shelf in. It's supposed to go right here, but there seems to be a problem. We built this wrong. There's no holes on this side. There's no holes. So that, this is supposed to be over here. Yeah, that means we've got to 
Take the whole thing apart. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Is that true? Do we have to do that? Yeah, we do. Yeah. We do. I, I was hoping I had an epiphany, but I don't. <laughs> okay, so Meredith finished this piece, and I think it looks pretty good. Let's look in the drawers. Oh, that's what the drawers look like? Wait. This one's actually fucked up. Okay, we're starting assembly. Bed. Day bed. Uh, that is going to be going here. So watch us uh, watch us put it together. It may change this angle. Okay, we're starting the assembly of the day bed, which is going to go here. So watch us put it together. Here's how it's going so far. <laughs> the pizza's here, so we're taking a break. Good night. What do you think? Oh, not really to be on camera. Okay. He was like, I'll show you my juicy doodle ass. Mm -hmm. Ta-da! Wow, Brian. And then what art pieces are you going to put in here? What are you thinking? I've been thinking about doing an accent wall, but I'm not sure which wall to do it on. We were talking about leaving this wall blank so we could film auditions and stuff when we need to because this would be a good like audition space. You could do a gallery wall here. Mm -hmm. so I'd like to get a lot of pictures. Ooh, like photographs? Yeah. Ooh, this is looking nice. What do you think, Lou? Do you love this office? Awkward. <laughs> Why don't you sing the song you were just singing, Brian? Because it's not appropriate for any audience. Brian makes up new songs every day and they're always creative. <laughs> <laughs> taking your own bottle to bottle town, taking your own bottle to bottle town, taking your own bottle to bottle town, taking your own bottle to bottle town. They're always super creative. They're never repetitive. They're never just nonsense coming out of his mouth. They're always something fun. So Brian thinks he's gonna be able to screw these in just with brute strength. He won't need a drill. What? What's the implication there that I can't? I I no. I'm just. No, I just think it's like really unlikely that you will. But... <laughs> wow, Brian. Nice work, Brian. I'm really impressed. Really? Yay, Brian. That looks so good. Don't you think that frame... Well, okay. I won't put words in your mouth. I think that that frame... Just looks so much better than the one you had before. <laughs> no. There. No words in your mouth. I said it. That sort of bow would be... Oh, wait. That's because it's not on the... There we go, that looks great and nothing bad happened. <laughs> That's the last footage we have of the office setup. Taken in September of last year. We never did set up the gallery wall. Why? You know why. Because that's not the type of person I am. But, because for a whole year the rest of the house has been beautiful and cozy and settled and feels like home and because I had to make this video last night we finished holding you makes me forget the things that I'm supposed to do Get up and go to work, but I always knew I should have stayed while I was holding you. It's a year later. <laughs> now there's a Traverse City Prince. This is where I'm from. By the way, whoa! This is a goat from our friend Mar. This is a wedding gift from our friends Sarah and Kevin. 
it's the night sky on the day of our birthday. Exactly. Of, our, of our birthday. And this was kind of like <laughs> our slogan for our wedding, where Bill, where Beer Bros 111th birthday meets Jane Austen. This is the Star Kid tour, the space tour, our first one. It says it was sold out, these two things in New York. I believe it, but no one really knows if that's real or not. Here's another uh, wedding gift from our friend Charlene, who's gonna be visiting us. She painted that herself. This one is Meredith, this one's me. And this was a gift, just kind of a, a random nice thing that Meredith decided to do for me because she saw this. It's a beautiful Avatar The Last Airbender uh, poster. That's Appa. And we love Avatar. We watch it every springtime. Thanks, Mary Beth. And Who's then, this family? Well, last but not least, this is another gift from Meredith. She actually um, adopted an entire family. Uh, so these people are all like um, really uh, poor. <laughs> I want to find a place for this, which is one of my favorite Meredith Stepien drawings ever. Um, I don't know why I like it so much, but I really do. We were playing Pictionary Telephone, and Meredith got the suggestion of Stumped, and then she drew this. Oh, really? You remember what the suggestion was? Yeah, because that's why it's Stumped. You're looking at a stump, and you're <laughs> confused. I, I thought it was such a funny play on words, and I also just love your drawings. You. You have like, it's like, it's always like a formless body, but really detailed feet. They're like, they're like bumpy, they all have toes. So anyway, I want to find a place for this as well. And um, yeah, and that's the space. Sorry, it's still coming. Oh. Whoa! And one year later, you can see what a beautiful workspace I have here. Worked What's on in it. this? That is from Christmas. And it has been right there. Is it just an empty gift bag, Brian? Um, yes. Yeah, it's just an empty gift bag. That could be taken out at any time. There's this is a... empty too? Well, it's got some vehicle registration. Hey, there's our... That's our vehicle registration? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Don't show that. <laughs> but here's how the bookshelf turned out in case we never updated you. A globe. That's another Marta creation. Here are two favorite guys, Peter Venkman and Data. Plant, plant, plant. Picture of me with a mustache, just so someone remembers. And a LaCroix. You're gonna go? Yep, I have to bike to rehearsal. All right, I guess I'll, uh, I'll just edit this video on my own and then post it. Love you. Love you too. What's your Thanks. YouTube password? Oh. And there you have it. Hey, that's the whole video. That wasn't too bad. I think I could probably do that again. Maybe the next time Meredith has to sub out, I can show you all the footage I took from last year uh, about how I did a bad job repainting the deck. Well, that's all for now, my friends. You'll have Meredith back next week, but I have to say it's been a pleasure spending this time with you. Enjoy your ginger ale. All right, girls. I know. You know, having the stuff up on the walls and it got me in the right mood. Yay! That's so happy. Yeah, it's a complete office. Yeah. It's the most beautiful office in the whole world. You want to know how I did it? Scoot over there. <laughs>